Hello, I'm back again. This is Dr. Tracy Summers. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. As God downloads in me, I'm going to do my best to upload as he downloads. But it takes me a minute to prepare. Uh, when he gives you something, you have to be ready. So uh, I'm home and I'm ready. Number one, I'd like for you to like subscribe and hit the notification button uh, the real purpose of my life is to help young ladies prepare for marriage get yourself ready for that person that God has ordained for your life that's my goal that's my desire that's the biggest thing that resides on the inside of me that I enjoy I can do it blindfolded I can do it just I wake up talk thinking about love for others I enjoy love so today, um, again, this is Dr. Tracy Summers. I want to talk about being complete in Jesus. Now, that should be your goal. You want to be complete in the Lord. You don't want to be distressed thinking about, well, I'm 35, I'm 38, or I'm 50, and I'm not married. You want to be complete in the Lord. And if he says, you know, you're not going to get married, you should be okay with that. If that is what he's given you. So remember that every word is not for everyone. It's your responsibility to go to the Lord. And again, it's your responsibility to try the spirit by the spirit. That's your responsibility. You are to pray and seek the Lord. Uh, we can give out words, but it's your responsibility to go to God to see if that word is for you. So um, the first scripture that I have is Psalms one six, Psalm 1611. It says, you make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. Hallelujah. Just be happy in Jesus. If you don't ever get married, be able to be happy with the Lord. I want to read that in another translation. It says, you will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures evermore. And then another, uh, another scripture is John 17 and 13. I'm coming to you now, but I say these things while I am still in the world, so that they may have the full measure of my joy within them. Oh, thank you, Lord. He wants us to have the full measure of his joy within us. It's not in another person that's going to be given to us. We got to have that within us. And the next scripture is Romans 13, 15 and 13. Now, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope in the power of the Holy Spirit. He says, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. Thank you, Father. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you today. We praise you for who you are and who you have called us to be. We thank you for the path that you have given us. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father God, that you have given us to have the fullness of joy on the inside of us, God. And Father God, if we don't have it, God, we ask, Father God, that you will do a supernatural work to let us know that, yes, it's on the inside of us. And on the inside of us is where you want it to be. In Jesus' name, it's not on the inside of another person and, and being transferred to us. So, Father God, help us to be joyful. Help us to have that unspeakable joy on the inside of us, God. As we are preparing, let us be complete in you, Jesus. Help us to be complete in you. Do whatever you need to do to help us to be complete in you, in Jesus' name. Amen.